الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ In a beautiful hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He said, I believe it's the hadith of Abi Darda Where he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ma min shayin athkalu fi mizana mu'min Yom al-qiyamah min husn al-khulq وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذُ الْفَحَشَ الْبَدِيهِ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and I believe it's collected in Tirmidhi, said there isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of the mu'min, of the believer. And verily Allah hates wicked and sinful speech. If we practice this, then according to the statement of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, by the more that you perfect those good manners, the more heavier, along with Tawheed and Aqidah, your scales will be. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, مَا مِنْ شَيْنْ أَثْقُلُ فِي مِزَانَ مُؤْمِنْ There isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of the mu'min on the day of judgment. مَا مِنْ شَيْنْ أَثْقُلُ فِي مِزَانَ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ On the day of judgment, مِنْ حُسْنُ خُلْقِ From righteous... Righteous uh, actions or uh, righteous manners. Adab. وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذُوا الْفَحِشَ الْبَدِيهِ And verily Allah hates sinful speech. That if we were to practice that, avoiding wicked and sinful speech, avoiding backbiting our brothers and sisters, avoiding speaking about people without knowledge, Avoiding speaking about people without verification, we would go a long way. That would be that that would be a part of that by practicing those things, and that's what it means to be from Ahl Sunnah. Sunnah, as Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said, "Arham al Nas bil Khulq." You know that they're the most merciful to the creation. They're they're the ones setting that example of good manners, good morals, good adab. They refute bid'ah. They detest and rebuke sinfulness, ma'asi. But they have the knowledge and the wisdom to do it with hikmah. And to do it with the proper moral and the proper manners, the proper conduct on how to prevent the munkar, how to make those changes in themselves and in others. This is the case of Ahl Sunnah. And so the more we can realize this and actualize this morality, then the heavier our scales will be on the Day of Judgment. Who doesn't want their scales to be heavy on the Day of Judgment? You don't want to come on the Day of Judgment and be in a situation like the one the Prophet ﷺ mentioned who cursed this one, who attacked the honor of this one, who uh, cheated this one, and that this person is bankrupt on the Day of Judgment. Wa'iyadun billah. 
some people, just for a little share of popularity in this life, will curse, lie, distort, cheat, be extreme in every re respect for their popularity at the expense of their akhirah. So that doesn't show the sifat of the mu'min. That's not the characteristic of a mu'min. That's not the characteristics of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. That's not the moral conduct that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam asked us to have. That's not the moral standard that we are uh, ordered to have. And that is not the moral standard which will get you to Jannah and bless you with having heavy scales. Because perhaps a person will have done some small good even with all the mistakes that they did, but they were good in manners and their Akita was generally straight that they will, perhaps that will be Allah will forgive them because you used to serve your mother because you used to be good in this and because you, you never, you always avoided backbiting the people and you never spoke about the people except with knowledge and you know, we don't know how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will favor his servants but we know the general commands that he sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that this person the one who has good moral conduct, good manners will have a heavy scale and a heavy scale in the good way, not the bad way. You don't want a heavy scale of sinful deeds. You don't want to be like the one who in the last part of the hadith, the Prophet said, so he said, And barely Allah hates wicked speech. Allah hates that. And how many people do we know who cannot control their tongues? And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and the many times that we have, have uh, spoken ill of others unjustly or cursed others or cursed or just had a bad and vile tongue and went beyond the bounds in argumentation. Those attributes are not the attributes in sifat of the believer and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil bless us with ilm al-nafiyah rizqan tayyibu wa amal al forgive us of our many sins wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam